What is going on everyone, my name is Codermore and welcome to episode 8 of the New Beginner Java Game Programming Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, we're going to learn what a sprite sheet is and we're going to learn how to implement and use a sprite sheet in our game. So what is a sprite sheet? Well, a sprite sheet is simply an image that contains multiple images within it. So right here I have one single image, but within it I have two mini images. I have a green character, and then right next to that I have my other image, a blue character. But they're both in the same image here. So why in the world would I want to use sprite sheets? Well, if you have 50 images in your game, you don't want to load all the images into your game one by one. That's very inefficient. If you use a sprite sheet, you take those 50 images, you put them into, into one single image so that each 50 images is next to each other in one image. Then you, all you have to do is load that one sprite sheet into your game, that sprite sheet image, and then using a class that we'll be creating in just a few seconds, you'll be able to separate the sprite sheet into multiple image objects. It's a bit tough to explain in words, but you'll understand it once we actually get coding. So first things first, you're going to need to create a sprite sheet. Basically take all the images that you want in your game and put them in one single image and just put all your images next to each other. In my case I have a green character and then next to that I have a blue character just for testing purposes. You can make a sprite sheet by yourself. Mine is 128 by 128 pixels and each little box here is 32 by 32 pixels, but yours can be any size that you'd like. And you don't even have to use these boxes, I just like to use them because they're good guides, but you don't have to. Your images can be any size that you want inside of your sprite sheet. So here's my sprite sheet, I saved it to my texture fo textures folder in my game like so, and if you are using Eclipse, don't forget to press the F5 key to refresh your project. Alright, so I have my sheet.png image, and that's my sprite sheet. Let's actually load that image in and see what we get displayed on the screen. So I'm just going to write some test code, private buffered image, uh, we'll name it test, and in our init method here, I'll set test equal to our image loader class, dot load image, and we'll pass in the path of our image into that. Let me move the screen here real quick. There we go. Mine's in the textures folder, and it's called um, sheet.png, like so. Make sure you import buffered image, and there we go. So all we're doing here is setting a test buffered image equal to our sprite sheet image that we just loaded into our game. Now let's actually display that to the screen. G.draw image, and we will just draw our test image at coordinate 0, 0 with null as the observer. So if we run our game, we should get our full sprite sheet displayed to the screen. All we did here is just load in an image like in the last tutorial. That's all we did. But we don't want this. We want to be able to display only this green character somewhere on the screen, and we want to be able to display only the blue character somewhere on the screen. We don't want to display the actual sprite sheet image. So we're going to have to create a class that does that. So let's delete this draw image right here, that way we don't see anything, and let's get started. So over here, you want to right click on your graphics package and go up to new class, and we are going to name this class sprite sheet. Go ahead and click finish, and now we have our sprite sheet class. Our sprite sheet class is going to store a buffered image, so we're going to create a private buffered image object, which I'll call sheet. This will be our actual sprite sheet buffered image, like the image we just loaded as a test. Next, we're going to have to have a constructor. So public sprite sheet as our constructor, and that is going to take in a buffered image as a parameter, which will be our actual sprite sheet image. Now all we have to do is set this sheet image up here in our class equal to the parameter that we've passed in. So this.sheet equals sheet, like so. And there we go. So now our sprite sheet class has access to whatever sprite sheet image that we passed into it. But we want to be able to separate this image into their own little sections. So we have to create a method that will crop or take only part of their sprite sheet. We're going to name this method crop. So it's going to be public, it's going to return a new buffered image, so it's going to return the section of our sprite sheet that we want, and I'm going to name it crop. Now our crop method is going to take in four parameters. It's going to take in an int x, it's going to take in an int y, an int width, and an int height. Now I'm going to explain those parameters right now. Remember how I talked about the screen coordinates? Well, screen coordinates work exactly the same as image coordinates in Java. Point 0, 0, is the very first pixel on the upper left hand corner of our image. So 0, 0 would be the first pixel up here at the upper left of our image. So we are going to use x and y coordinates to crop out or get certain parts of our image. 
Let me zoom in a little here so we can see a bit better. And let me move this over. There we go. So, point zero comma zero or pixel zero comma zero is this first pixel in the upper left. Now, if I want to get the blue image, we're going to have to set our x coordinate to whoop, 32. Because remember, Java starts with the number zero as kind of like number one. So, pixel 32 would actually be the first blue pixel in this blue image. Then we have to set a y position. That would be position 0 because, well, we don't want to go down any. So position 32 comma 0 will get us this pixel right here. Then we have to give it a width. We want to span 32 pixels this way. And a height. We want to span 32 pixels down. This should encapsulate our whole blue image and display it to the screen once we do it. Let's do that again. We have pixel 0 comma 0 right here. So we'll, we're going to plug in x equals 0, y equals 0 to get the green image, and we'll give it a width of 32 to go this way, and a width or, and a height of 32 to encapsulate this. I hope that made sense. That may not have ma made much sense. I, I'll try and explain it later on. Anyways, in this crop method here, all we have to do is return our sprite sheet image dot get sub image, and we just have to plug in the x, y, width, and height variables into it. It's as simple as that. This one line of code right here will return a new buffered image of whatever area that we specified by x, y, width, and height. Again, I'll explain what I just explained in, in a little bit because I don't think that made much sense. So, this is our sprite sheet image done, or a sprite sheet, sprite sheet class done. If we call the crop method on it and we give it the four parameters, it will return a new buffered image of just the area of the sprite sheet that we specified, like the green image or the blue image. Now let's actually learn how to use this thing. So up here, I'm going to, under our test image, I'm going to create a private, whoop, private sprite sheet, and I'm going to name it sheet. And then down here in our init method, oh, make sure to import your sprite sheet class, by the way. We're going to set sheet equal to a new sprite sheet, and that takes in a buffered image as a parameter. We'll pass in our test image, which is actually our sprite sheet image. So that will create a new sprite sheet object for us. Next, we want to render part of our sprite sheet. So we'll do draw image, And let's leave the image parameter blank for now. We'll just give it an x and y coordinate. We'll render it at uh, 5, 5 in null as the observer. So what do we put in as the image now? Well, we can't actually put in our sprite sheet object because that's not a buffered image. We have to call our sprite sheet object dot crop method. And we have to actually crop out an image that we want to use. Now I'm going to go back to here and explain what I just kind of explained real quick because I don't think my original explanation made sense. Think of the screen coordinate system. You have point zero zero at the upper left. It works the same as images. So if I wanted to crop out or only display this green player right here, I have to get the upper left pixel of it, which is zero comma zero, x equals zero, y equals zero. Then I just have to plug in the width of it, 32 by 32. But if I wanted to get this blue player right here, I'd have to plug in an x value of 32, because that's this upper pixel right here. I'll still plug in an x value of 0, because it's in the same row. And then I'll still give it a width of 32 and a height of 32, because it's still that size. That's really tough for me to explain. I hope that made sense, guys. Sorry. If you're really confused about it, comment down below. I'll, I'll find a different way to explain it if you need it. So. In my x and y, I'm going to plug in 0, comma 0. Whoops, I'm going to plug in 0, comma 0. That will get me the upper left pixel of my image, which should be part of the green player. Then I'll plug in 32 for the width and 32 for the height. So this should draw just our green player to the screen at position 5, comma 5. Let's run our game and see if this works. Look at that. All we see now is our green player. Now let's try and get the blue player displayed. I just said that the blue player, all that has to change is the x-coordinate. It's going to be at x equals 32. And again, your sizes might be different if you put them different. But in my x-coordinate here, I'm just going to change that to 32. And we'll crop out a different section. This will now display our blue player instead of our green player. Alright, this is sweet, guys. We have sprite sheets working. Of course, you don't actually want to draw images like this because... Every time we're calling this render method, we're cropping out an image. That's very inefficient, but we'll learn how to fix that in probably either the next tutorial or the tutorial after that. This is just to show you guys how our sprite sheet class works. 
So go experiment with this. Make sure that you understand images or sprite sheets rather. Make sure you know the sizing and all the x and y coordinates and the size and go out and make some sprite sheet images. Make a few player images, then make maybe a grass tile, make a dirt tile. Get your art done, have fun with it. I'm going to see you guys in the next tutorial where we're going to be doing something. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching everyone.